Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and let's talk about a skill that 100% of algebra students need to know how to do really, really well. And what we're talking about is graphing linear equations. And we're going to take a look at this problem as an example in this particular video. So I have the linear equation y equals 3x plus 5. My question to you is, can you graph this line? Can you graph this linear equation? And what I'm really talking about is just a quick sketch. In other words, don't feel compelled that you have to have graph paper and a ruler. You should be able to do um, uh, graphs in algebra and mathematics freehand, right? So in other words, just take out a piece of blank paper and a pencil and see if you can, uh, you know, come up with or construct a fairly accurate sketch of this line. This is really, really important. And if you are taking any kind of mathematics that involves algebra, you certainly need to know how to graph linear equations. So I'm going to show you a basic sketch here in a second, and then we're going to walk through exactly how to graph this line. Now, if you can uh, graph this, tell me what you did or describe the line. Obviously, you cannot put your graph into the comment section. That would be pretty cool if you could do that. Uh, of course, I'm going to walk through exactly how to graph this line. We'll talk about um, some big um, topics as well in terms of linear equations. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at uh, the answer. And the answer, again, is just going to be a sketch. But you should have some sort of sketch that looks like this. So you need to construct a nice little xy plane. And the line, your line, should be something like so. Okay, now, of course, here I did kind of use a ruler. So if your line is kind of like, you know, freehand, you just try to be as accurate as possible. Now, if you um, drew a line, but you kind of sketched it like it, with this angle, well, uh, that may not be uh, correct. Okay, so in other words, uh, some math teachers might, you know, look at your line if you had, like, let's say it was like this angle right here, they might question whether in fact you did this correctly or if you did it accurately, all right? So anytime you are sketching, you want to always try to, to use a scale. In other words, just kind of envision that you are, you know, working with some graph paper. But this is a skill that you have to practice and get better. But if your line looks like this, it's possible you knew uh, what to do. You just kind of constructed a poor graph. Now, if your graph is going this way, unfortunately, this is wrong, right? So basically, you're looking at a line with this kind of angle, this kind of slope. So if you have something that's pretty close to this, and this line, by the way, uh, intersects the y axis at five, well, that indicates that you did this problem correct. So let's go and celebrate with a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. You can tell your friends and family that indeed you know how to graph basic linear equations. So be very excited that you indeed have that down. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. And this is only one example of the type of problems that you need to know uh, in algebra, right? So I'm going to kind of start with this super easy example here, because if you can't do this, then you're going to have a more difficult time with uh, uh, linear equations that are not in this particular form. Now, I keep saying this word, a linear. Let me go ahead and just write it out linear equations. So we're talking about equations of what? Well, if you look at the root word here, it is line. So we're talking about line equations. So here specifically, this would be a two variable linear equation. Okay. Now I'll talk about this here in a second, but basically these are the equations of lines. So uh, in algebra, what you need to do is to be able to take a linear equation and graph, uh, graph it or sketch it uh, also, you need to be able to uh, have, let's say, some information about a linear equation uh, and then basically have the graph or some clues about the equation and you need to be able to construct or write the equation. This is a huge, huge topic in algebra. And again, all algebra students must know how to handle these type of prompts. Now, if you're already kind of concerned, you're like, well, you know what, I'm struggling with this. 
uh, you know, maybe this little example is going to kind of help you out to some degree. But what you probably need is some full instructions. So let me give you a couple of quick suggestions uh, before we kind of get into this particular example. One, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel on slope, on slope intercept, standard form of line. But what I'm going to highly recommend is checking out like my pre-algebra or algebra one course where I have full chapters on how to graph linear equations and how to find uh, or how to find the uh, how to write um, or find uh, the linear equations given information like given the slope and a point that's on that line etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so this particular example so here is the uh, actual answer I'm going to kind of uh, erase all this and we'll kind of uh, look at this particular uh, example uh, and talk about this y equals mx plus b because this is the most common way that we see linear equations in basic algebra. So what is y equals uh, y equals mx plus b? Well, this is what we call the slope, right? So that is the m right here, slope intercept form of a line, okay, or a linear equation, slope intercept form. So the m is the number in front of the x, and then this b is some value out there, and this intercept is actually the y-intercept. It's the location a line cross, uh, crosses through the y-axis. Uh, now, if we look at this uh, line or example, you can see it's y equals 3x plus 5. It pretty much lines up with this slope-intercept form of a line. So 3 would be what? That would be the slope, and 5 would be the B or the Y intercept. Okay, so uh, if you kind of recognize, oh, okay, here this is you know the same form as Y equals MX uh, Y equals MX plus B. Well, then we are good to go. So now let's go ahead and talk about how to graph a linear equation if it is in uh, slope intercept form or Y uh, equals MX plus B form. This is super easy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is simply plot the uh, y-intercept. But let me, before I even get into it, the objective when you're um, graphing any line is just to find two points that is that are on that line. So in other words, if I have a point here and another point here, and both of these points are on this line, then it's very easy for me to construct a graph. If I'm like, oh, I'm trying to graph a line, I know this point is on the line, and I also know this point is on the line. Well, as long as you have two points, right, you don't need three. Three is good. Four is even better, but you need at least two to graph a line. So that's what we're trying to do here is simply find two points that are on this line. So what you're going to do is start with the y-intercept. You're going to start with the b value. In this case, it is 5. So we're going to uh, go to 5 on the y-axis. So here we go. So what you're going to um, do in terms of sketching is just kind of um, draw freehand a vertical line and then a horizontal line. Put arrows on both sides and label this X, label this Y. Of course, I already kind of did that uh, right there. You don't need a ruler. And by the way, you want to have nice perpendicular angles. You don't want to be sloppy and go like this, you know. Uh, that's you know, really bad. Take your time and learn how to do these freehand sketches, right? So let me kind of just show you right here. Now, of course, I've been doing this for decades and decades and decades. So, you know, you get good at it, but you need, you know, you need to practice this as well. Don't feel compelled that you need a ruler. So, in other words, I would just draw a nice little line like this. That would be my y-axis. And then I would draw a nice little uh, horizontal line. That would be, or this would be my x-axis. This would be my y-axis. And I'm uh, putting um, arrows on uh, all uh, both sides of these lines because these are lines and I'm making this a 90 degree angle uh, perpendicular to one another, right? So I'm kind of setting up my nice XY plane just like so, right? Now, of course, I did have this kind of lovely uh, tool so I have nice straight lines, but again, yours doesn't have to be super perfect as long as it's fairly representative of what's going on, then you'll be okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is plot this five on the y axis. You can see I already did that. So you're gonna construct a scale right here. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Now just kind of, you know, use some sort of scale where you can get everything in on your little um, x, y plane and just space things, uh, space out these little marks 
as evenly as possible. So there's, um, call, if this is one, well, that could be like two, this might be three, this four, there's five. And then plot a point right there. That's one point that is on this line. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All we need is one other point, and then we'll be able to graph this line. So how do we get this second point? Okay, well, uh, again, this is our first point. So to get the second point, we're going to use the M. We're going to use the slope, right? So the slope is effectively a set of driving directions to get to the second point. So you're going to be starting from this first point. We're going to start there. Then we're going to use the, uh, uh, the slope as a set of driving directions to get to um, the second point. Now, of course, I'm saying driving directions, but they're just directions you would, you know, you know, kind of tell someone, right? Like, hey, you're going to go up the road and make a right-hand turn, or you're going to make a left and then make a right. That's basically what the slope is uh, going to tell us. The slope is literally going to either go up and to the right, okay, or it's going to be down and to the right. So if you have a negative value, like a negative uh, 3x right here, this is a positive value it's going to be, if you had a, a negative slope, it would be down and to the right. That would be your driving directions. And if we have a positive value, like positive three, it's going to be up and to the right. So now we just have to figure out, well, what, you know, what amount up and what amount to the right. So let's get into that right now. And this is a typical um, point where students get confused is with the slope. So the slope here again is three, but we want to think of the slope as a fraction. So how can I uh, think of three as a fraction? Easy, just put it over one. Three divided by one is the same thing as three. So now I have a fraction, but the slope by definition is the rise over the run of a line. This is a whole nother conversation in, in and of itself, but we'll just kind of keep it nice and basic for this particular example. So we're going to rise three, okay? So this will be our rise. We're gonna go one, two, three, okay? And then we're going to run out to the right one, okay? So we're gonna start at five, and then we're going to go up three. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then we're gonna make a right-hand turn and go over one. So there is our point. Okay, so now we have our two points, and now I can just simply draw a line through that point, and I am done. Now, just to um, be super clear that you understand these coordinates, okay, these points, let's go back and label these points right here. Okay, so what is this point? Remember when you um, are expressing a location on the x and y um, axis, uh, what you're, or x, y plane, what you're actually doing is listing out or writing out an ordered pair, an x, y coordinate, uh, i.e. a point. So here, uh, this this point here would be what? That would be zero on uh, X and uh, five on the Y. So that's that point. And what is this point here? Well, here we have to count this out. Again, it's gonna be an X, Y point. So what is um, the X value? Well, let's just kind of look right here. We went over one. So it's going to be one on the X. And then what about the Y? Well, we went up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's one eight, okay? That is the point right there. Now let's suppose you were like, well, how do I know that this is the location one eight? Maybe you were kind of concerned about that, uh, this point right here, that's one eight. Well, uh, the best way to verify if a point is in fact on a line, like this line here, we're saying that the point one eight is on this line, is we can actually plug this information one eight into this line. Let me kind of erase this because this is an important concept as well. Okay, so here's the point 1.8. So the question would be, does the point 1.8 uh, lie on this line y equals 3x plus 5? Well, hopefully it does because we just graphed the line and it should, but let's verify this. All right, so what is x? This is x and this is y. So we're gonna plug in for y, we're gonna plug in this eight. And then for x, we're gonna plug in this one right there. And then we're gonna see if this balances out. So y equals three x plus five. So when y is eight, okay, so I'm gonna plug in eight for y, and then I have three, 
times this one right here. Does this balance out? And that's going to be plus 5. Okay, so is 8 equal to 3 times 1 plus 5? Well, it looks pretty good to me. 8 is equal to 3 times 1, of course, is 3 plus 5. 8 is equal to 8. It checks out. Look at that. Isn't that lovely when things work out? And this is a basic example of how to graph a linear equation in slope-intercept form. Now, I'm kind of uh, roughly covering, you know, concepts about the slope. There's so much more. I can just kind of talk, 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 and teach, 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 because I love mathematics, and I love to teach this stuff. But it's just too much to kind of, you know, um, have one big, huge, nonstop lesson on all of this. What you want to do is break these up in, uh, you know, in their kind of component parts. you got to understand how... Um, the coordinate system. Then you got to really understand slope. Then you got to understand single variable uh, linear equations and then two variable linear equations, et cetera, et cetera. So there is a lot to learn. And I'm telling you right now, this is a massive topic in algebra and beyond. So again, if you need help with linear equations, check out my pre-algebra or algebra uh, courses. They'll te I'll teach you everything you need to know and even more. But if this little video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.